Hey guys, welcome back to 80 Figure Unboxing. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And today we're gonna take a look at a Mesco One Top Collective cable from the Great Marvel Universe. Um, honestly, I'm not too familiar with the character, but usually if the character looks good enough, um, I'm gonna get it. Anyways, um, here's the left of the box, here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. And like all Mesco figures, let me just like slide this out. So we'll see the Mesco logo and the window packaging. And yeah, um, let's bust this thing open and see what we got. And here's the figure still in the inner packaging. Um, like usual, it does come with a fair amount of stuff. And let's check it out. All right, so here we have the figure itself. And my first impression on this figure is actually pretty good. Um, I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. And I don't have any QC issues. But honestly, by now, I'm a little bit burned out from Mesco. And I'm slowly moving away from it. In fact, I think this is like one of my last pre-order or something. But guys, um, do let me know in the comments on what you think. But for me, the biggest issue from Mesco 112 is just the articulation. And I don't think it's necessarily their fault because um, it's really hard to do a good articulation on cloth goods like this. Um, technically, the articulation is all there, but you just can't utilize them um, because of the design and sometimes the outfit. And as an SH Figure Arts collector, um, it's just unbearable to me at times. But Eric, Eric, you're still buying them though. Yeah, um, I don't think I'm going to go all in from now on. I'm just going to buy the ones that I like. Anyways, um, let's just take a closer look at the figure. Um, I love the attention to detail and the battle damage is always really cool. Masco is really good with this. And we do have a light up feature for this guy. Um, the eyes and the chest plate lit up. Very, very cool. And yeah, um, I think we can jump straight into the articulation. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over it from the neck down. Um, he can look up only about this much, can't really look down, and you can't really tilt his head. And because of the light up feature, um, you can't really move his neck at all. Um, there's no ball joint there. Um, it's a really big turn off for me and for a lot of people. And for the shoulder, um, it's just on a hinge. You can raise them up only about this much. Obviously, the shoulder piece is going to hinder a little, but um, you are able to move this out, but mine's a little bit stiff, so I'm not going to do that here. And we do get a um, bicep swivel, can curl about this much, and you do get the hinge ball wrist. And for the ab crunch, you can't really bend forward, um, but you can bend backwards about this much. Um, have um, very little side to side movement. And for the leg, you can kick out about this high, bend about this much, thigh swivels, um, no ankle pivot, no toe hinge, um, but you can swivel here with the boots. And yeah, I believe that's it for the articulation. And let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, we can start with the default face, and I think it looks great. And next up, we get an angry teeth greeting face, and I think it looks pretty decent as well. And for the interchangeable hands, first off, we get a pair of display open hands. And then we get a pair of hands for holding the combat knife. And lastly, of course, we get a pair of trigger finger hands to hold his plasma weapons, and they're all very nicely made. Um, over here, and you can actually take this out as well. Very, very cool. And yeah, I believe that's everything, and let's check out some action poses. And for the size comparison, let us start with the Mafex Wolverine and Venom, and I think they look pretty decent together. And next up, we have some Dragon Ball and Street Fighters SH Fig Arts. And lastly, we have some SH Fig Arts Star Wars figures and Figma, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, the figure is going to look amazing on your shelf, um, because it's really aesthetically pleasing. However, if you're going to play with the figure, um, don't expect too much, because the articulation is pretty bad in my opinion. And yeah, um, I think that's it from me. Do let me know in the comments on what you think. And this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.